Okay, now to a series of missing purses cases, a missing persons cases uh, raising alarms in Northern California. Investigators still haven't found 16 year old Kylie Rodney since she disappeared nearly two weeks ago. And we are learning that two others vanished around the same time in the same area. This morning, Alex Capriello has new information about these bizarre circumstances of these back to back disappearances. Good morning, Alex. Yeah, good morning to you, Mitch. While the Kylie Rodney case has drawn a tremendous amount of national attention, the families of two other young adults are trying to draw that same amount of attention to their missing persons cases, which all happened on the exact same weekend in nearly the exact same location as the Rodney case. In total, we now have three active missing persons cases right outside of Truckee, California, and they all seem to have happened within about 24 to 36 hours of each other. Here's what we know about the latest case. It involves 36-year-old Juan Almanza Zavala Vala, seen right there on the right, and 29-year-old Jeanette Pantoja. They were coming home from a music and car show in Reno, Nevada on the night of August 7th, about 24 hours after Kylie Rodney was last seen. The two dated for years, and families said they still maintained a very good relationship with each other. They each called and told their families that they were going to be on their way home, but never actually made it. For two weeks now, investigators have been searching the rural areas surrounding their last known cell phone pings but haven't found anything. They were last seen driving that blue Ford Explorer. Now this all coincides at the same time as investigators are nearing two weeks of searching for 16 year old Kylie Rodney and her 2013 Honda CRV who went missing after attending a senior bash with around 300 other high schoolers and young adults. Authorities say she was last seen in a video wearing this pink and white sweatshirt. Investigators are asking everyone to come forward with any helpful information they may have. Keep in mind the reward here for that case is now up to $75,000. Now I want to be completely clear here. Investigators are not necessarily linking these three missing persons cases. However, they are all being investigated at the same time. These detectives really just trying to make sense of how three different missing persons cases from the same weekend in nearly the exact same geographic location can all go down in that county. Mitch, Adrian. And that is Alex Capriello reporting live uh, in Los Angeles for That's us this insane. morning. That's insane. It is. It is. Well, That's so weird. Why, it makes you wonder about what's going on out there. I'm glad somebody's investigating. Well, I, I'm a native of Northern California, so I mean, I think a lot of people talk about it out there. But I mean, clearly, anywhere, if this happened anywhere in the world, people who aren't even related to each other all going missing at the same time? In the same area. Oh, well, Bizarre. there's... Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.